Hey guys, vegan cyclist. All right, top three workouts to help with your endurance. So now I got with uh, my coach, Tony Wolf, and I kind of asked him, hey, give me some workouts for someone trying to build endurance, right? And endurance, it just is kind of like to talk about this. So zone one, two, three, four, five, six, you can spend a lot more time in zone one, less time in zone two, less time in zone three. There's a point at which like zone six, you just, you can't spend an hour in zone six. It doesn't work like that. Um, so we're talking about increasing your zone one, zone two type of performance. And this is more for someone that is looking like, hey, on a 60 mile ride, I'm cracking. And I'm just not doing very well. I need to, I need better endurance for 60, 70, 80 mile rides or someone who wants to do their first century um, or a good say off season type program. So all of these workouts and this information is coming from Tony Wolf at ATP Coaching. Look, a cookie cutter type program like this doesn't work very well. I can tell you workouts, but your fitness, your goals, everything about your whole uh, program is very specific to you. And so if you want something better, more customized, hit Tony up at ATP Coaching. Okay, so we've got three workouts here. One hour, two hours, and three plus hours. So depending on how much time you have to ride, these are the workouts that are gonna be best for you. So, one hour, okay? Let's, if you have one hour to ride, what workout are you gonna to do to help improve your endurance? That would be threshold intervals. Now, your threshold can be found by doing a series of tests, maybe a 20 minute test and then taking a percent of that, but you find your threshold, which is, if you don't have any power meter or any heart rate or anything, it is what you can do for an hour. Okay, so like your max hour effort, that effort, that, that type of intensity, you're gonna do a five minute warm up, just spinning around, then you're gonna do 20 minutes at threshold, which again is what you can do for an hour. Then you're gonna do a 10 minute kind of just recovering spin, don't stop, and then you're gonna do another 20 minute effort at threshold, then five minute cool down. This is gonna be a great workout in a timed crunched area. And even though threshold is more like zone four, that is gonna help you increase your zone two and your endurance by going a little bit harder. Because if you're gonna, if you only have an hour of time, it's very difficult to try to stress your endurance motor in an hour. It just doesn't, it's just not enough time. Now, if you have two hours, you could do the sweet spot workout which is kind of depending on your fitness. But let's say you do a 10 minute warm up, all right? And then for a set time, you're gonna do 95% of your threshold. So somewhere in zone three, upper zone three, and you're gonna just increase this effort with, with over time, right? So maybe start off with a 20 minute, then go to 30 minutes, then 40 minutes, and then 50 minutes, and work your way up into an hour, maybe even 90 minutes at right around that sweet spot. You're gonna have to build up to that, but that is an amazing workout. Then after your threshold uh, effort, now that may, you maybe you only did it for 20 minutes. The remainder of this, of this ride, you're gonna just hold zone two-ish um, until the finishing, uh, until the ride's over. So you'll get to a point where you're doing 10 minute warm up, 60 minutes in sweet spot, and then maybe you know another 40 to 45 minutes, just um, zone two, and then your cool down. All right, now if you have more time, and so this would be great for like the weekends, you're gonna do three to four hours at low zone two, no stops. All of these workouts have no stops in them. You're not gonna, don't stop, because if you're trying to build endurance, you, you need to be stressing your motor for an, exp you know, an extended period of time. So three to four hours, low zone two, so for me, my zone two starts at uh, 190 watts, right around there, 180, 190 watts. And so I will just hold 10 to 20 watts over that. It's very low zone two, but I'm gonna hold that for three plus hours, in between three and four hours. You don't stop pedaling the entire time. You just keep pedaling. 
even if you go on a downhill, you're gonna keep pedaling. Maybe your cadence is through the roof or you're, you know, whatever it is, you just don't stop pedaling and you don't take stops and you stay there in low zone two. You don't surge, don't do low zone two a little bit and then surge up. And so most of the time, this is good to do this with another group of people that are doing the same workout because if you do it on a group ride, they'll probably surge away from you on the climbs and then you'll catch up on the flats and that sort of thing. But look, this is gonna feel, this should feel in the first hour, boring. Super easy, very, very not hard. But then by the second to third, and especially when you're in like three and a half hours, just holding any amount of watts is incredibly difficult. But this is a fantastic workout that will get your muscular endurance, you know, shipped up, shaped up perfectly. So now how you might apply this to say a block, right, would be to do something similar like this. Say Mondays are your day off. Tuesday you go out and do your threshold intervals. Wednesday just a free ride, whatever you wanted to do. Do the threshold intervals again on Thursday, Friday, Saturday free rides, then Sunday the sweet spot, then your day off, and then you kind of you kind of see how this is working, and then on Saturdays, you know, every other Saturday doing your low zone two non-stop ride um, every other Sunday doing your um, your uh, sweet spot. After four weeks of this, you could then go into a recovery week where you're not spending any time in zone two or three or four or any of that sort. So this is just a, a kind of a brief overview of how you could take these three workouts and structure out a block. Then you could take this block and bump this up to another block which I'm going to be doing videos on increasing your intensity and your speed and that sort of thing. So after this whole video series is done, you could probably mash these blocks up and have a halfway decent training program. But again, if you wanted to have something super custom to you that is tailored to you on how your fitness is progressing, Tony Wolf from ATP Coaching, he's the man uh, with the plan. Hit him up, see what he can do for you. And as always, vegan cyclist, you. Yeah.